Open up the doorways, open up and see What kind of lifeline will be waiting there for me I need to bury all these fears And let them fade away I'm not scared, I'm prepared To find myself Hello everybody. So today I'm going to talk about Jeremy Wayne Goodman. He was reported missing on December 23rd in the year 1998 from Texarkana, Arkansas. The police classified his case as endangered missing. Today he would be 51 years old. He went missing at 26. He is six foot tall, 225 pounds. When he went missing, he was wearing a Dallas Cowboy t-shirt and jeans or gray jogging pants. Jeremy suffered from multiple mental ailments, which were schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, and obsessive compulsive disorder. He also suffers from high blood pressure and seizures. He has been diagnosed with Crohn's disease, an inflammatory bowel disorder that causes abdominal pain, vomiting, and diarrhea, and weight loss. He went into a recovery program from for addiction to opioids shortly before his disappearance. Something that would make Jeremy stand out is his right chest muscle is missing, and he has no hair on that side of his chest. At the time of his disappearance, he was a patient at Wadley Medical Center in Texarkana, Arkansas on December 23rd of 1998. He had contacted his mother from the medical center after receiving a painkiller injection for abdominal discomfort. Jeremy said to his mom he needed a ride to his trailer in Liberty, Elu, Texas area. He called later that night and told his mom that he was just gonna take a taxi home. Law enforcement believe he received a ride to the Wright Motel on eastbound US Highway 67 and East Broad Street in Texarkana Sometime afterwards, he called his mom at 11 p.m. from the motel, but she was not able to answer the call. He was never heard from again. Jeremy's family said it is not usual for him to leave without warning. Jeremy has custody of his son every other weekend and looked forward to those visits. Jeremy was treated for opioid addiction at a nursing facility earlier in 1998. He was released from the program four months before he vanished. Him and his family were very tight-knit, so the no contact made them know something was really, really wrong with Jeremy. He did not live with anybody. He enjoys watching movies and football games. Jeremy's family members I got a tip. He may have been placed in a psych facility, Living Hope Hospital of Texarkana, shortly after he disappeared and was transferred to a state-operated facility in Arkansas. Hope closed in the year 2008. This information has not been confirmed, and Jeremy has not been located. Our enforcement have not ruled out foul play as a possibility in this case. If you have any information on Jeremy, 
please contact Texarkana Police Department at 903-798-3154. Please remember to hit the like button, comment below, and share. Let's get Jeremy home. Thank you guys for watching, and have a great day. Bye, guys.